Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to set the basic authentication for Cycor app in the IIS service on Windows Server. Okay, let's get started. On my Windows Server 2012, I have the website fc82.local. This is the Cycor version 8.2. Let's open this one on browser. And you see here, I can see the content of this website. Suppose this URL is a public domain. If anyone over the world have this URL, they can access into the website to see the content. However, assuming this is a testing phase, I don't want to public the content for everyone. I just want to share the accessing for some specific person who has the username and password in order to access the website content for testing. In the IIS server, it has the basic authentication mode, which will help you to manage the accessing for the specific person. Okay, let's close this one. And by default for the Cycor 8.2 or other version of the Cycor 8, it will enable the basic authentication for the form. Let me open the web config file. Open it in an editor on your Windows PC. I will type in the third keyword here is authentication. And you see here for the authentication, the mode is form by default. Okay. Let's keep this one first. And we will come back later to update this configuration in the web config file. Open the Internet Information Services Manager. And here, I have the authentication in the IIS section. When you are installed the IIS service on the Windows Server, you have to make sure you already open or install the authentication mode in the security. You can go to the server manager, add role and features, like, like, like. And here, on this step, when you install the web server, I, I add, yeah, you can open this one for more detail. Web server, security, yeah. Here, in the securities, we have the basic authentication. This is already installed on my Windows PC server. Basically, you can enable everything inside the web server IIS. Okay. I'm assuming you already installed the IIS and also securities for basic authentication on your Windows server successfully. Let me close this one. Close this one. And then I come back to the authentication. Double click on this one. And you see here, by default, we have the anonymous authentication already enabled. That means everyone who has the URL can access into the website. Let's disable this one. And you also see the form authentication also enabled. Let's disable this one. Yeah. And then come back to the website. You type in the fc82.local. You see here, for now, after I disable the anonymous authentication and also form authentication, we cannot access into the website anymore. Just so the message is unauthorized. Yeah, okay. And for now, because we are going to use the basic authentication, so, let me enable the basic authentication for this website. Back to the browser, refresh this one. Yeah, and you can see it's displaying a pop-up to request you enter the username and password. So here, in order to access into the website show, we have to have the username and password. Okay, you can open the server manager. Go to the tool on the menu, right hand side. Click on 
computer management. It will open the computer management on the Windows Server. On the left hand side, you go to the local users and groups. Click on users folder. I right click on this and create a new user. Enter the username is Chien. And the password is Close this one. Yeah. And you see here, we have a new account. Chien has been created. Okay. Minimize this one. Close this one. And you close this browser again. And then open it. And then enter the website. Yeah. Enter the username you have that created here. Yeah. And you see, for now we can see the content of the website. Copy this one and open it in the incognito mode. If I enter a wrong password and username, you cannot see the content. Even click on cancel button, it will display the unauthorized message. Okay. Close this one, open it again. Enter. Yeah. Okay, you can also come back to the web config. Refresh this one. Yeah, you know here. After we disable the authentication mode by form and also turn on the basic authentication, it will change the authentication mode from the form to window. Okay, okay. I think that's all. And after you finish this video today, you know how to set up the basic authentication for the Psycho 8.2 on Windows Server 20 and 12. Basically, you can apply the same way to enable the basic authentication on the Windows 10, the latest version of the Windows Server. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any issue. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. See you later in other video.